Hey guys, what's up? There was a recent post on the Backgammon Galaxy Forum, Strategy Forum, by um, Eli, and he said he's experimenting with keeping the running count, and that Moshi and Nick Blazer uh, always keep a running count. I don't know if that's true or not, but I take it it is. Um, and quite a few other top players chimed in to say that they're, they're also doing a running count. My first instinct was, it's kind of madness because counting the pips can be so quick and easy when you need it, or all the time even, without keeping a running count. And so many other things in your head. And also, I mean, say you're in a sweat or playing with a friend for fun, you know, a money game even, you know, you can't talk or do anything when you're doing the running count because you're occupying one of your mind, the focus, whereas when you just count, quickly when you need it, um, it can be super fast. And I think a lot of players, even the top players, really struggle with a pip count. Um, and I don't, you know, basically I'm going to show you the way I do it. It's a comparison and adjustment method, looking at each point with a few extra, extra tricks. And the basic premise is you start on the left of the board <laughs> as you see it. So I'm always thinking from White's perspective and I look at the far left two triangles opposite each other, the, my 12 point, and obviously my opponent's 12 point, and there's no checkers on either, so there's nothing to count. The next one is 11 points facing each other. Black has a checker on his 11, so as white, I'm up 11. And I don't say plus or minus because it confuses me when I come to adding and subtracting. So I just say up. Um, I think someone, I can't remember who posted that they use L or P or something like that, but I just say up or down. Um, so LOT for leading or trailing, but I just say uh, as white, I'm up 11 pips. The next one, I've got two on my 10 point, which is 20 pips, and now cumulatively I count. So uh, I was up 11, that's 20, so now, now I'm down nine. We move to the nine point, I've got two checkers on the nine, which is 18, nine times two is 18. So if I was up 11, down nine, um, I've now got to subtract 18, so um, I'm now down 27. And now coming to the six point, I've got three checkers opposite none, that's 18. But instead of saying 27 and 18 is 45, then you've got to do multiplication and then go back to adding and subtracting. I find that complicated too. So it sounds, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I don't think it's COVID. Um, I find it much quicker just to count each individual checker because then you don't ever have to do multiplication either. So if I'm down 27, I'm now down 33, 39, 45. There's nothing to count on the five points. I'm still down 45. Here's 21 uh, for him. So if I was down um, 45, I'm now down 24. There's nothing to count on the three points because they cancel each other out. So I was down 24, moving on to the two point. You've got three checkers opposite three checkers. You don't have to count those. You've just got to count those two there, which is four pips. So I'm now down 20. And he's got three checkers on his one, so I'm down 17. And you can see the pip count if I'm at, you know, there, 66, 83, um, is 17. So it's pretty accurate. Uh, that seems slow, but if I, I was just doing it, trying to explain to you, but if I, if I did it looking at the board myself, I'll just do it in my head. Uh, I'm up 11, down 9, down 27, down 33, 39, 45, down um, 24, down 20, down 17. So it really didn't take me long. And I guess the key is cancelling out. So this position is not even that much to cancel out. But for example, uh, these checkers, these checkers disappear. Uh, these checkers and these checkers disappear. Oops, these checkers disappear and these check checkers disappear. Uh, oh, I've done it wrong somehow, it was 17. But you get the idea, uh, oh yeah. All right, you get the idea, sorry, I, I did it wrong, but you only need to count things that can um, cancel each other out. Uh, so you may be left with something like this, all the other checkers say cancel each other out. And now you can just see uh, I'm up 11, down 9, down 27, and that's 21, down 6. You see? So really, there's only 2, 4, 6 checkers to count in a position. It's not like you look at a board and there's 30 checkers to count. Um, and that might seem a simple position because there was none on the bar or a back game. Uh, let's close that down. Uh, but say I take, for example, 
uh, yeah, like a, a back game like this. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing, but one thing to remember is that checkers on the bar are worth 25 points, 25, 25 pips each. So as white, I'm down 50. But also, any checkers facing each other are 25 pips. So for example, he has a man on his four point, or his five point and his 20 point, they, they add up to 25, that checker and that checker. But he's got two facing each other, so that's 50. Or maybe it's easier to see on the four point because the opposite's 25. He's got two on there, that's 50, and that's two on the bar, they cancel each other out. So I could remove those checkers from the bar and those checkers there, and the pip count's going to stay exactly the same. So it's, as it happens, this is, a, I'll just show you, it's a completely level race, 97-97. Uh, uh, let's put those checkers back. Um, now it's 155. What have I done here? Uh, Yeah, sorry. So now it's 147, 147. It's the same thing as if you take them away. So the way I would count this is I've got two checkers on the on my 13 is 26, two on my 10 is 20, um, so I'm down 46. Uh, three on my eight is 24, 46 and 24 is down 70. Um, and now I'd probably uh, skip that checker for a second. So I'm down 70 pips. Uh, taking these away, and the two on the bar were like that, they cancel those out, uh, the two there cancel those out, um, the three there cancel those out, um, so I was down 70 pips, and now I'd say those two opposite are 50, so I get 50 back, so now if I take those away, I'm only down 20 pips, um, and that's 18, so I'm down two, uh, and then you can just shift that across one, two, to mirror each other is level. So it's like really super quick to count, uh, basically doing comparisons. Uh, you can also shift things along, so here I'm just, you know, you don't have to count. I'm up six, up three, you can just slide along three. Um, so I'm going to show you i well, not showing you. I'm actually going to test for myself. So I set up, uh, I haven't counted them yet, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I set up ten other positions, which were the last ten posted on Galaxy. And I've got a little stopwatch here to count the race by comparison. Um, and I'm going to see how long it takes me and how accurate I am uh, starting the clock. Uh, you don't need to worry about the five, three. It's, it's more just counting. I've hidden one of the pip counts, so I don't know what it is to start. Um, but I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm not going to speak out loud too much, or it might be quick, you might not understand, but you can always pause it or rewatch on YouTube or go back to the start of this video to see. And I'm just really testing for myself just to see how long it takes to count. Um, you know, here, I'm not going to start counting yet, but for example, I can just, instead of counting all the checkers on the eight and seven points, I can just say that's two pips for me, uh, which is, and I'm going to be cumulatively counting from left to right, but making some adjustments and using the 25 trick for checkers on the bar and um, facing each other. Okay, so I'm going to have a go. Uh, and it's always from White's perspective. So here we go. So I start, I'm up 26, up 28. They cancel each other out. I'm up eight down, I'm up six, and that's um, uh, 23, I'm up 29. Uh, yeah, 29, well, so that took me 10 seconds, and I've got it exactly right, so I've just created, created a tiny little spreadsheet in Google Documents, so that's 10 seconds uh, out by zero pips, it's perfect. Now, obviously, I'm much slower doing it like this because I'm trying to talk out loud to show you a bit. So I think over the board I'm going to be much faster. That's one down. Uh, let's go to the second one. Uh, ready, steady, go. I'm up two pips. Down 22. Down one. Down 26. Down 28. Down four. Oh, so it's. Um, 
what happened here. I was out by 12. I'm going to cheat a little bit and have a go at that because I never get it wrong by 12. I'm just, I think it's because I'm talking out loud. Um, ready, steady, go. Down 2, down 24, down 3, down 28, down 30, down 6. Why am I getting this wrong? When I'm sorry, no, I wasn't that far out. I don't know what I did. I was down eight because I was down and it's plus. So it was pretty accurate before. I just uh, got it wrong. Anyway, I was down eight, not six. I was two pips out in six, seven seconds. Let's round it. Um, I thought the plus minus twelve. See, plus minus is so confusing for me. I know a lot of people go plus minus, uh, just up or down. Okay, let's move on to the next. Um, steady go. So I'm down 25, cancels each other out. I'm down 12, down 22, down 23, down 25. Uh, so I was down 23, so I was out two pips uh, in six at seven seconds. What pattern going on there? Up 26, it's 32, down 6, down 8, down 2, level. Yeah, level, 9, set 10 seconds. Uh, let's start. I'm up 18, up 24, down 1, down 11. Down nine. Yeah, down nine, seven seconds. Um, uh, ready, steady, go. I'm up 26, up 24, up 26, up 31, that's 42, so I'm down nine, down 12, down 16, up nine. I was up seven, so I was up two pips in 11 seconds. What am I doing here? And I reset the clock. Start, so I'm up four pips. Um, I'm up two pips. 8, 14, down 1, up 7, down 17. Uh, I was down 19, to 13 and 2. What was I out to? I don't think I was out anything on that one. I um, wonder why I'm always out to. <clears throat> uh, let's restart the clock. Start, I'm up 39, up 28, um, 57. Sorry, I'm going to start again. I'm up 39, up 28, uh, that's 14, so I'm up 14, down 36, down 42, 48, down 44, up 6, up 8. It was right, but it took me 19 seconds because I did it wrong to start. Oops, 19 and 8. Reset the clock. Okay, I'm down 26, 8 down 18, uh, up 5. Yeah, up 5 and 6. Uh, last one. Down 10, down 11, down 17, down 13, down 38, and 22 is down 60, uh, and 5, down 55. Exactly right in 10 seconds. Um, okay, so just looking at the averages, um, 
well, I'm not very good at spreadsheets, I'm not sure what I've uh, messed it up here. Uh, 10, 17, 24, 34, 41, 52, 65, 84, 89, 99. So it took me 9.9, 10 seconds on average to count the position, and I was out by less than one pip on average. Um, so for me, the jury's out. If it takes 10 seconds to count the position, and I, I think I do it pretty much quicker than that in my head when I'm not having to try, sort of explain it uh, with a viewer, but it's roughly that. So 10 seconds by the time your opponent rolls the dice and picks them up, you know, it's probably five. So you can often count without him even knowing uh, that you're counting. Uh, it doesn't slow the game down or anything. Um, but there you go. Uh, I hope it's useful. Uh, I'm not sure I explained it perfectly. <laughs> I certainly didn't. But maybe I'll just go over this one last one because when I was doing it too fast. Uh, so here... Just to explain again, um, that's 10 checkers for me, so I'm down 10. Uh, this checker here, 10 pips. It's one checker to move here, so that these two on the bar point mirror each other out. So that would be one, so 10 plus one is 11. Here I've got one extra checker. I can just slide it actually uh, two along so that all these seven checkers at the beginning of my home board cancel each other out. So I was down 10, 11, 13, so 10, 11, 13. And then I used these two opposite the 25. 13 and 25 is 38. That's on the 22 point, 38 and 22 is 60. And he's got three five pips there, which you just take off. So I was down 60, now it's only down 55. So there's loads of checkers here, but those cancel each other out. Uh, there's two on there and two on there. Those cancel each other out. Those cancel each other out. Two there. Two there. Those cancel each other out. Um, just as an example, say you had a man on the bar. You know, that's 25 pips. And those two opposite face white checkers facing each other are 25. You can take those off so those cancel each other out. Um, I haven't done this perfectly, sorry, but... In, in a position like that, I guess I have it's only five. So for example here, um, you really don't have to count very much. Uh, the 25 is opposite. Cancel each other, well, leave it here. Um, you know, I would say down 10, slide one and 11 is down 11. That's one of those. Two across here is down 13. Um, and those three in your head could cancel each other to make it a round number. You're down 10, uh, that's 25. You're down 25, it's 35. 33 and that's 22, it's 11. Well, you know, you get the idea. And the one other thing, say for example, it's a, uh, a race. I don't know, just put the checkers like this. And you're deciding whether it's a cube and you've got to do the differential. So knowing the comparison, uh, let's just make it relatively with something realistic. Um, yeah, so here. So you get to this position, you look at it, and you're deciding whether to cube over the board. And knowing the comparison is 10 pips is not enough. You need to know how long the race is to do a differential. I'd argue that it's still quicker to do the comparison and just count one side than count both sides because there's so many more checkers, and then you've got to remember numbers as well. So the first thing I do is a comparison to decide whether it's worth counting the whole thing, because if you can see the race is super close, you're not gonna bother counting the whole thing. So here, the comparison and shifting method using the mirror, uh, I'm down nine, um, down 10, 18 on the outside, uh, down 12, down 10 pips. So I know the difference is 10 and I know I'm leading. So I count the, the shorter person's race, uh, sorry, I know I'm trading so because I'm down 10. So now I would count Black's race because there's fewer checkers to count. Um, so I don't know, I do 18, 28, 32, 36, 40, 46, 48, 50, 57, 65, uh, and 9 is 74. Now I know I'm down 10, so I know the race is 74, 84, instead of counting all of White's checkers. So I find it quicker to A, do the, com 
do the comparison. Then if you think you need a full count, you just need to count the leader side and then you can compare just by adding on the difference, which you've done already. Um, anyway, I hope it, I hope this helps. Pip, uh, pip counting basically takes 10 seconds or if you've got, obviously I practice this a, a lot, so I think I'm faster than most, but um, it's not any hard maths, it's just practice. Uh, and I'm sure there are some other tricks which make it even quicker. Anyway, I hope it's useful. Uh, peace out.